Hey, last vlog, boys. Last vlog. Last vlog of Brad for the hey, trip. Last vlog. Hey. We out. How, how are we? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, hey. What did, you do? Did, you, what did you do with the bag, Rodel? I left it in there because it was yours. <laughs> it's Just want to thank the team, big huge of everything, Ash, little coach Ash, the quake, the fuck all, Joe, that's dog shit. You're a great man, Joe, I'll, I'll never forget it. I really know what to say right now. As you can see, I'm in the airport, so I'm just pacing this video together, um, the last video together, because I got a little bit caught up with celebrating Alex's win. That day we we woke up and uh, pretty much had breakfast and went down to weigh Alex in because they always check your weight before the fight to make sure you're not uh, losing too much, uh, gaining too much, stuff like that. And uh, he gained a fair bit back. <laughs> he gained like over 10 kg. I reckon you are fat. With this 77 something for sure. Oh shit, it's over. Do you want to kill these just for our data? Okay, yeah, thanks. Probably. Thank you, I appreciate it. Probably a good idea. Lose the extra 100 grams. They might not let me fight it for the weight after this. <laughs> All right, go for it. Watch your head. Two oh, yeah. Up. You could fill in for a uh, while to wait. <laughs> if we need a while to wait, if we need a while to wait, fill in, we're good. Here we go, and get Alex's hands wrapped. Uh, here we are. That was a big walk. And you got about so, an hour at the training. And there's training, there's somewhere to train over there? Yeah, you've got mats okay. over there, training room. We'll are we just training over there then? We'll get you some mats over there. How does he feel, Frank? Strong. Dangerous. Yeah. Real dangerous. Heavy. Yeah. Thick. Thick yeah. boy. Thick boy. Oi, how are you here? And how are you there? But you're here. It's a lie. Let's go. Too hard to let him take it back off us. No way. There's no way, bro. I'll release this video probably after the fight so we can talk about the fight. Oh, okay. I spent a bit of time trying to figure out what I thought Max would, what adjustments I thought Max would make. And it's hard because I haven't seen any fights where Max has had a rematch where he's had to adjust because the rematch he did have was with Aldo and Aldo sort of come out doing the same thing again so Max beat him the same way with that higher volume than usual which a lot of people don't have higher volume than him except Alex Alex is the first guy he's come across that's had that's been fitter had a higher output and a good game plan so Max has never had to do a rematch off a loss 
So it's hard to figure out what he's going to do. So what, what do you think he would do? Well, 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 we, well we, talk, we did talk about this where we thought he's going to see a little bit more success in them later rounds where he did a little bit more, took a little more risks. And obviously, I had people thought I was slowing down, but obviously I had you boys telling me we we're up, don't get caught up in his shit. Yeah. And I broke my hand. So a lot of people... You know, could, you know, they thought he had a little more success in the, the last round. So I think he's going to think that as well. I think he's just going to do more. Yeah. I think he's going to be a little bit more active. Uh, he won't try and, you know, again, there was a bit of a chess match. He was trying to outsmart me or outplay me. But I just kept being that step ahead. I, I believe I kept shutting him down. So I don't think he's going to try that anymore. I think he's just going to be there. So he's going to be there to cop damage but try and give damage. So that's what yeah. I believe he's going to do. So I'm fit enough and ready for that anyway. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I thought he would do, his adjustment would be, because uh, we, we had so much success with low kicks, I thought he's either going to have to start blocking those or punch on them. Jamming on them. Yeah, and so when Alex kicks, I thought he might start trying to punch this time to try like level up the points um, or try to catch you on a low kick. So obviously, we've planned ahead to move our head and stuff like that. And... Output. I thought he might come out um, with a little bit higher volume in the earlier rounds, um, but then again, like I don't think this is a concern because whatever volume comes to us, we can uh, match it and increase it more because Alex is always fit and fitter than everyone he fights so far, so that's not a big concern. Um, if I was Max, I'd kick. More. More yeah, I would kick. But he's not going to kick. A few things that, you know, he's going to try to catch me coming in with knees. Yeah. He might throw a different look and just flick out some kicks out, out yeah. there as well. Um, there was one that caught me. So, again, there's little things that he might just flick out there. Maybe but, try and slow me down and break yeah. my rhythm a bit too. But, but he's just going to do more, I believe. Yeah. And people forget that, like, they're, they're going to say Max is going to adjust and Max is going to come back better. But you also need to realise, so are we. Um, it's not like... Alex is going to go and do exactly the same thing as last time. Yeah. And the benefit of, of being um, Alex is he's a very diverse fighter and he has a lot of options, right? He can wrestle, he can kickbox, he can do everything. So he can also adjust on the fly because fortunately he's, uh, he's got quite a good fight IQ. So this, this is good. So you can tell, um, I can tell him or Eugene or whoever's telling Alex something, you can tell him on the fly and he'll adjust which is not that common in fighters these days. A lot of people um, find it hard to adjust during a fight, but Alex can do that, so I'm feeling like we're going to be sweet. Woo! You too, brother. Stay safe, man. See you guys. Mr. Lopez, what do you reckon? Close fight, very close, but we got the job done. Yeah. You're happy to still have that gold? I'm happy to take this home with us again. That's it's ours. It's fucking ours. It's ours. <laughs> it's staying at That was stressful though. I had about two anxiety attacks. And so, uh, as you guys saw, we uh, we won. The champions! Look at... Oh, you... English, good, Oh, you, you two stand together. You two stand together. Yeah, but but one, you two champions first. Give me some Russian. Give me some Russian. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some, Peter. <laughs> I went over there in the changing room. Hey, I, like, I took hey. it. I took four of them. Hey, hey, look at me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I still think we won. I've watched the fight a few times. And um, it was ours. It was close, but it was ours. Got a message from Max Holloway's uh, fans, and uh, we got the belt again. Hey, we got the belt again, <laughs> boys. <laughs> and we are the champions. <laughs> so we got back to the hotel, but we ended up, uh, he ordered a bunch of helium balloons. <laughs> That's right, motherfuckers. We did it. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, they finally turned up, but Frank had disappeared. And so I went to go find him to tell him, and he snuck into Eugene's room and went to sleep. He got like a little bit of sour at us. That uh, we put tomato sauce on his head. And so he shot off into Eugene's room to sulk about it. 
That was pretty funny. And he was even more gutted that Eugene was on it. It was actually originally Eugene's idea to put the tomato sauce all over Frank's face. And typical Lopez ruined it by putting it on his forehead, on the skin. Never put it on the skin. Only put it on the hair because you can't feel it. Uh, we had a good time. It was another awesome trip with the lads to a very uh, unique place that we'll probably never get to go to again. I don't think that's ever going to happen again in UFC history. It's something like Fight Island. So it was very cool to be a part of it. I would have much rather fought, but, uh, which I haven't said, I just had surgery, just minor, just cleaning some stuff out. So I had to skip those fights out. So I'm, I'm due a little bit later this year. Yeah, all in all, it was a great time. And uh, yeah, hopefully one day I get to go back there. Maybe at a different time of the year when it's not so goddamn hot because 44 degrees is too much. That is just insane. You want to stay in, a, you want to stay in the aircon all the time and in the hotel. And then you get a little bit depressed that you're staying inside all the time and you're not getting some rays. But yeah, it's, it's a hard decision to balance out whether you want to go outside and fry yourself or um, stay inside and, and be cold, but whatever. Good times all around. Fire Island, thank you for having us, UFC. Dana White, you're a crazy bastard for putting something like that on. And kudos to you for doing that. Congratulations. Stoked to be part of it. See you guys pretty soon. September.